What do we have here? New fucking Brom seats. Hell yeah. Before I open the shit, can anybody guess what seats there are? Or at least what color? Um, I've been talking about it for a fucking while. And I'm fucking hella excited to have finally my Brom seats on my Z. She's gonna look fire. Um, I watched it last night, so it looks fucking mint. Um, I am in the process right now of taking off the two stock seats because it's like garbage. Dude, like, honestly, I didn't even feel right sitting in these seats. Like, I don't know, to me, they're so uncomfortable. But yeah, I'm in the process of taking those out, which is pretty easy to be honest. It's just four bolts and then the whole seat comes off. Um, yeah, I was doing, I, I was using the gap cam last night, you know what I'm saying? The circuit compartment. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this seat and uh, we're gonna do an unboxing on my brown seats. And just like that, seats are out. Um, stock bolts are there. Damn, she dirty as shit. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open up the new brown seats. Damn, Zila's gonna look fire. This shot right here, amazing. Is that a blow off out? Sheesh. Dun, dun, dun. Bruh. I'm super excited to open these bitches up, bro. You guys don't know how long I've been waiting for these seats. Um, you guys didn't know, Brom, they're like on back order because of COVID. So, damn, where the fuck is it? Oh, right here. Had to wait a fucking oh, a while for these. Oh shit. Y'all saw them right there. Oh shit. Damn, cut. Damn. You guys know I had to get the red seeds. Sheesh. Bro, these look fucking fire. Not gonna cap. Shh, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out the box. Bro, these look too freaking fire. I don't know how well you guys can see like the detail in this, but this shit is crazy. I like how this part has a black part. It gives it like that extra accent. Damn, bro. Sheesh. Shout out to Brom though. But the real test is I gotta sit in my, my fat ass gotta sit in these. Cause these, these are the, the, the bucket ones, not the regular ones. Um, I, I was trying to switch it up because last time I had the the, the regular ones and uh, they're cool, but this time I'm trying trying to switch it up a bit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit on these and uh, see what's good. Ooh, damn, kind of feel like the low key feel the same though, but you just kind of have like more, like they hug you more. I miss, I miss these seats. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did sell my other ones, my black ones, um, and this is how I bought these. Is that kind of fire dog? Ooh, the red seats and the red calipers. Man. 
damn this feels fucking good so the good thing it's uh it does come with uh sliders and the hardware for it so i got this bad boy upside down and i'm gonna go ahead and put on the the sliders uh they do not come with the brackets like the seat brackets so you're gonna have to buy those separately so that's kind of like the downfall of it but yeah they're worth it <laughs> so little tip advice for you guys these two uh these go in the back and these go in the front of the seat so just the way i have it right there like that and just kind of me just measure where your bolts are gonna line it's not rocket science and right there So you grab your bowl and your washer that came included with it. peep these out sheesh it's a little dirty right now but and peep that fitment though very clean sheesh now nah, wait for this shit god damn Tell me this shit don't look fire though. I did end up um, installing them off camera. Um, just cause it's simple, just a few bolts and that's it. But this shit looks fire, huh? These shits look fucking fire. Oh. And they're comfy. I'm about to give you guys a, a cold start right now. Let the fuel pump prime a little bit because then this shit won't start. So let's give it a shot. <laughs>
sideways. So I pulled up to the fucking spot and uh, just talk about a little bit about the seats and how fucking comfortable they are. Um, these are the Elite R series and uh, I use my original harness, the ones I got a long time ago. And uh, so far, I'm loving these seats. Um, they just give that extra touch to the interior. Um, a lot of you guys knew that I was gonna get red seats because of the shift boot. Um, but yeah, here they are. They are like bucket seats. So it, it like puts you in your spot pretty much. Um, if you guys been in bucket seats, you already know how they feel. But if you guys don't, um, they just feel like literally you're in a fucking bucket. <laughs> but yeah, everything's looking fucking sick as shit. Super clean. And uh, yeah, that's currently how my Z's looking. Um, I did get the red seats because of the red calipers. Um, I think that's an extra a touch. But yo, like this view right here, like this view, amazing. Um, I fucking love these wheels. I literally love this whole car. Like I wouldn't change anything of it. Um, all I gotta do is get these. Uh, new car and fiber um, what are these called a rear trunk I guess and um, yeah cuz it's it's a little fading a little fading so that might be going up for sale soon but um, yeah I like to keep my shit simple you know what I'm saying this view right here looks like shit bro some literally like car and fiber white and red you know seats Sick. Um, I do plan to do more videos. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, this is a little update for you guys. I haven't really done much. Um, besides, or these seats, these literally took forever to come. Um, I was literally waiting on the Brom Seats website till they were available, and uh, I copped in when they were available. And there was just limited amount of them. So right now, currently what I'm doing right now is saving up to build a motor. Cause I already got used to the power band and uh, I've been doing a lot of pulls, a lot of like uh, POV videos for you guys. And that's probably gonna be for the next video. I owe you guys that. Um, I haven't really uploaded much um, just cause personal issues and shit. But so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, peace.